In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our online content management system to update your app and also how to send your customers push notifications. So the first thing you have to do is go to client-log-in.co.uk and from there log in with the username and password that we've sent you. Once you've logged in, you should be on the content tab and if you're not, just click it. On this screen, you will see a list of all the tabs in your app. One thing I should note is that the first home tab refers to your home screen which is the screen that loads on startup and which the user always goes back to when pressing the back button. The second home is the actual tab at the bottom of your app. You can drag these tabs around to rearrange the order in which they appear in your app and you can also click on them to edit the content inside of them. The tabs that are usually most relevant when updating content are products and services. Conveniently they're both set up in the exact same way so once you learn how to update one you can easily update the other. In this video I'll show you how to update the products tab. I'll first show you how the tab currently looks so you can get an idea of how this layout looks inside the CMS. As you can see we first have a list of car brands and if we click a brand we see a list of cars of that type for sale and if we click on that car we get a bigger picture of it as well as a description of the product. Now if we go back to the content tab and open the products tab we can see that there's a list of categories there. In this case our car brands. So if we wanted to add a new brand of car, say for example BMW, we'd simply click the add new category button. In the box that pops up, it asks for a few things. The first is a section. We could subdivide our list into sections, for example luxury and non-luxury brands. In this case, we don't have different sections, so we'll just leave it blank. In the name field, we'll type in BMW and check the active box. If we don't check this box, this category will not appear in our app. We can also opt to upload a thumbnail for the tab, which we've not done on this tier of the products tab. However, we could, for example, use the brands logo here. In the next tier, I'll show you an example of a thumbnail. We now simply click the save button to add this brand to our list. To add products to this category, click the add items button next to it. Next, click add new item. As you see, in this section, we have the added option of a header image. This is the enlarged image that appears at the top of the items page. At the bottom, we again have the option of uploading a thumbnail. The default sizes for both of these are listed on our website and there's a link in the description of this video. If you're using a header, click browse to find the image on your computer. Again, make sure to check the active box. There's also another checkbox here called new design. What this box does is gives us a layout with a header image and a comments tab for your users to comment on the product. If you don't want to use this layout, leave it unchecked and what you'll get is solely what you see in the description box below. For this example, I'll leave it unchecked and use the description box instead. To put a picture in, click this button, then click the browse button, then the upload button. I prefer using the basic uploader, so we'll click that. Find our file and click upload. From there, exit out of the uploader, click your image and click insert. Now we can enter a description below the image. Next, we can upload a thumbnail, and then we click Save to save the changes. If we ever want to edit a product, we simply click Add Items, then click the Edit button. Similarly, if you want to add a product to an existing category, click Add Items, then click Add New Item. There's all sorts of other tabs available, and if you change the content inside of them, it's mostly self-explanatory. If you ever have any questions about editing content, feel free to contact us with your questions and we'll be happy to help. A link with all of our contact details is included in the description of this video. Now we'll move on to push notifications, which I really like because they're extremely simple to set up. So the first thing you click is the messages button at the top of your screen. There are four simple steps and the first is to decide what message you want to send. You can check whether you want the notification to go to iPhone users, Android users, or both. And you can also link up your business's Facebook and Twitter accounts to publish these notifications on your social media at the same time. As you type your message in, a preview of it will appear to the right. In the second step, we can choose to either send notifications to all users or to send them to users within a certain radius of a specified location. If you want to send notifications to a specified area, simply select that option and enter an address and radius. Step 3 is link content. This is whether you want the push notification to link your users to a specific tab in your app, an external website, or a predefined template. Linking to a tab in your app is useful if you've just released a new coupon or added a new product. It's extremely simple to do. Simply select the Yes, Link an App tab option, 
select your products tab, then expand the category and select your new product. If you want to send users to your website when they click your notification, that's simple as well. Just select the Yes Link to Website URL option and enter your website's URL. If you want to use one of our templates, select that option, then select a template, change the style to one that you like, and simply fill in the blanks. The fourth and final step is to publish your notification. You can either send it right away or schedule it to be sent at a specific date and time. So that's the end of our CMS and push notification tutorial. Again, if you've got any questions or need any help whatsoever, don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Again, all of our contact information is in the video's description listed below.